All right, guys, so real quick before I get into the video, I want to go over something. So if you're a beginner and uh, you want to learn more of like the really essential basic things you need to learn for card magic, uh, don't forget to click the link below. I usually leave it below every single one of my videos. So if you guys are inter uh, interested in that, make sure to check that out. Anyways, guys, here is the video. All right, so here's what the trick would look like. You would have the specter go ahead. You have three red jokers just like this and you'd have your spectator go ahead and pick two random cards from the middle of the deck so these are two completely random cards in this case we have the queen so we have three of spades and then we have three or the queen of diamonds so you stick this off to the side and what you want to do is you want to put the cards in alternating order so you take a joker a card a joker a card and then another joker so you should have them in alternating order just like that we are going to have Joker, a card, a Joker, a card, and a Joker. So you could have picked, really, any card from this deck, or any two cards, actually. Uh, but you happen to pick these two. Now, what I'm going to try and do, let's see if I can do this. So we have one, two, three, four, five cards. And just with a snap, I'm going to go ahead and turn the cards over. I have a Joker on the bottom. I have another Joker over here. And again, with one more snap, but we should have one joker two joker three joker your cards have actually disappeared from this pile altogether now what I'm going to try and do is let's say I take the three jokers I put these on the bottom of the deck face down and with a snap and riffle I should have now pushed one of these face down jokers into the deck directly in between your cards so we have one two and now we should look for the other face down joker which is somewhere in the middle and we have that sandwiched in between your two cards. And these are the three jokers. So this is a trick, guys. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so the good part is there isn't necessarily like a setup. The only thing you have to do is gather a couple cards. So what you want is you want a blue joker. If you are using a blue deck of cards, you take one blue joker and then three red uh, red jokers as well. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and assume you're using a blue deck for this trick for the tutorial. So let's say we go ahead, we have three red jokers, one blue joker. You stick the blue joker on top of the deck and you could go ahead and shuffle the deck up as well as long as you leave that joker on top. And now what you're going to do is have the spectator go ahead and really pick any two random cards. So it doesn't matter. And the first thing you want to do is you pry them out and you don't really make too much of fuss about them you kind of just you pry them out of the deck and when they're still face down like this you can go ahead and catch a break underneath that joker and you're not going to really go ahead and say these are the jack and ten right away you're going to put these on the deck put them on top of that break and then count them off so what you can do is say okay so you happen to pick the jack of spades and all you do is you flip that one card over and now you have a two card packet here you go ahead and drop that on the deck and then do the same exact thing and then you say okay look so you have the ten of hearts and immediately right after that you deal those onto the table and now you're going to have a joker and one of the cards so then from here you tell them you're going to put these in alternating order with the joker so you take one red joker the card on top the first card is going to be the uh, the blue joker and then you take a red one take their card and you put a joker so you could actually show the face of the second card but they might get suspicious if you know if you didn't show the face of the first card up here so you could show the face of the selection but that's entirely up to you you pick these cards up and you say and you say one more time you say okay so these should be in alternating order and then what you're going to do is count the cards off one more time but what you do you say okay so we should have them in alternating order we have a joker you have a face down card and now when you get to the third joker what you're going to do or the second joker you're going to pry that off and catch a break just like that so the other two cards are actually on the deck now you save a joker face down card and another joker and the moment you done you're, you're done counting those cards you just kind of go over and you don't really say much you just kind of pick up the packet but you're picking up that break right here and this is only going to be three cards you say okay so at this moment you count out the cards you say you know what you could have picked really any card or any two cards in the deck and as you say that you flip this packet over you can fan through the cards a little bit and then at this point you just kind of break it when you feel like the decks are in halves and then you do like a nonchalant little cut as you're spreading through the cards and that is going to that's going to move these two cards to the middle so you say you know what you could have picked any card in the deck 
you go ahead, cut the cards, put the deck back face down, and then from here what you do is you say, look, so at this point you take the cards, which are still face up, you flip these over, and you take the bottom most card, you peel that out, and you flip it over, and you say, okay, so I have a joker, a joker on the bottom, you do that, you flip the deck, one more time, you do the exact same thing, you pull the bottom card off, flip that over, and from here what you're going to do is called a Roomba account, I'll leave a link on the screen, um, but essentially all you're doing is, actually you know what I'll teach you right here, so what you're doing is just counting the cards, so this is what the order looks like, but what you're doing is the cards should be face down, and from here you say, look, I'll give the cards a snap, and you're holding the cards like this, and what you're going to do is take your two fingers, your thumb, and the middle, and the index, you come over, you pinch the cards with your knuckles facing upwards, you flip the cards over, pull the top card back, you're going to grab the two cards in the back here, flip those, put the card on the table, and I'll teach it one more time. So you have the cards like this in mechanics group basically, they're face down, you have the cards, you come over with your thumb, your middle, and your index here, you go ahead and you pinch it, pinch the entire packet, flip the cards over, pull back the top card, and then what you can do is put these this last card into your fingertips and kind of bend it, and you can use your fingers back here and you kind of grab the card as well. You flip it over, you put the card down here, and it's all, now it's important that you have the red card in your hand. This is gonna be the last one, and you make sure to scoop up the cards below it so that way you have the red card, the red joker on the bottom. You square these up and you say, look, now your cards are lost somewhere. So you flip this entire packet over, make sure not to flash the blue card. You can drop them back on top of the deck and say, you know what, let's go ahead and take the three jokers. And you still keep up that whole facade that you actually have three, uh, three red jokers. But at this point, you only have two. So when you come over to the deck, you want to make sure you only take away those two jokers. You say, okay, let's go ahead and take these three jokers. I'll put them face down on the deck. And now you tell the spectators you can know you can spring the cards, you can dribble the cards, you can riffle, you can you can snap whatever you want. You tell them that you are going to push the face down joker deep within the deck in between their two cards. So you do whatever you want, you go ahead, you riffle the cards. Say look, I actually only have two jokers now. And then you can go ahead and spread through the cards and in between the spectator selections you're actually going to have that red joker from the beginning, and you can flip these over as well. So this is the trick guys. Hope you guys like it. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and as always guys, thank you.